Welcome back to Bull Sessions here on 680 KFEQ. You can email your questions or comments to bull at willcross.net. Once again, here's Randy Baker and agronomist Brad Law. Okay, we're back to Bull Sessions. we got a good show lined up for you today. We're talking with Mitch Mers of Mers Farm Equipment here in a little bit. He's the GM. Uh, we're going to be talking about bobcats and accessories and all kinds of equipment with Mitch here in a little bit. Cool but, stuff. It is cool stuff, and you love bobcats and accessories. I know. I know. That, that's, that's why I said during planting season we got to talk about mm-hmm. stuff that's easy for me. So if I'm tied up when we go to do a show that we can, mm-hmm. you know, I can fly from the seat of my pants on this. Mm-hmm. You remember the list you had there several weeks ago about yes. the accessories and we had to go into the second segment you was so wound up about I, all the toys you can buy. It is so cool with all the stuff with Bobcats. But, well, you know what else is so cool? Uh, bean of the Week? Yes, our Bean of the Week is. Maybe you would get to that sometime soon. Well, we have WX 1441N. All right. Oh, Miles loves that bean. That's right. Why do you love that bean, Miles? Because it's tawny. It's like <laughs> All tawny. right, tawny. Miles. He's oh. going to get your job yet, Bradley. Well, announcing he could. <laughs> I'll have to be the guy behind the scenes that's telling him what to say. He knows about lime, and now he knows about tawny no, soybeans. Okay. It's a light, it's a light <laughs> tawny soybean. Oh, light tawny. Light tawny. It gets about 40 inches tall. It is mm-hmm. a Liberty Link soybean. Mm-hmm. So you know what that means? A lot of people means? like Liberty Link. Yes, 20 gallon of water when we're post-spraying. Got to do it. And we use about a quart of Liberty. We banker's wanna, hours. Yes, spray during banker's hours. We want the sun shining. We want those weeds actively growing. And we don't want to spray too early, and we don't want to spray too late. Nope. And we don't cut the water, and we use a full load of AMS. Full load. So, Because when we do that, we can have clean fields. When we go out there and spray, we want to get a good kill, and we want Liberty to keep working. There's other technology that we used and abused, and mm-hmm. it's not effect- as effective now. No. So Liberty works. You know, Randy's got a good supply of these beans, mm-hmm. and Andrew does. Like I said, if you don't want to talk to Randy, Andrew or I are around, <laughs> you know, even Blake or Zach, or if you're up yeah. in Iowa, Jeff, yeah. um, we can hook you up. And if you want, we can put Randy in a closet while we're, you're in doing you can your do deal. do that, too. And we got dealers scattered all over the state and several states. All right. And we can do so. treated, untreated, whatever fits your operation. And Absolutely. we can deliver if we need to. Absolutely. We can do all of that. Um, we can do all that, but we can talk bobcats today, too, can't we? Yes. Soybeans we and bobcats. That ties in. Uh, again, like I said, we have... Uh, Mitch Mers here from Mers Farm Equipment, Falls City, Nebraska. Mitch Mers, welcome to our show. Happy to be here. Are you sure? I think so. I think so. <laughs> Did That's you realize what you were getting into when James called you? Mm, not 100%, I don't think. <laughs> That's all right. It, oh. You just got off the plane a just, little bit ago. Just arrived, uh, delayed through Denver a little uh-huh. bit, uh, came back from a Bobcat meeting, full of knowledge now. Are you all now? Right. Well, no, but I'll <laughs> pretend. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. So where was the meeting at? Denver? Denver, yep. Wow. Uh, they're doing regional meetings right now. Uh, this one was actually just kind of a dealer feedback meeting, so mm-hmm. kind of cool from a, you know, from a standpoint of as a dealer. Um, they're having about six of these regional meetings that the mm-hmm. dealers can go in, and we can uh, talk right to the to the big guys in the company. And Wow. So. Get some feedback and try to do some good customer service. Absolutely, because it's not. There's several steps in that because it's the, you know, the end customer talks to the dealer, then the dealer's the voice to the, you know, the manufacturing, the company itself. Hundred percent. So, I don't know what Bradley's purpose is at Will Cross. He kind of, I don't know. We. He plants plots. He does a good job at that. <laughs> He's on bull sessions. <laughs> we all have a purpose, right? We do. So. No, he does a wonderful job. He does many, many things up there as he deals with the YouTube stuff. And uh, under Miles' watchful direction there behind the board. Uh, now, you said this button was Randy's mic, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Don't show him that one, Miles. So, Mers Farm Equipment is up there at Fall City, Nebraska. Got a beautiful building up there. And I think 
my first kind of experience with MERS is we were up at Fall City planting a plot with our little plot planner. And I know more than get up there and go to unload the planner. And we've got a cylinder as a center length. So you can flip the planner up and it gets more clearance. And that cylinder somehow vibrated or turned and unscrewed and come apart when we uh, were trav- when we went to hit the hydraulic lever. So there we are, a couple hours from home, out of state, and needed to get a plot in. Well, we took the cylinder off and turned around with the truck and trailer, and back to Falls City we went and thought, well, we'll try it MERS. Mm-hmm. And I believe it was your dad. Yep, Bruce. We were there around lunchtime, and he himself took it out in the shop and said, well, I think you can just screw this back together. And put it in the vise and got a big pipe wrench and put it back together for us and said, oh, don't worry about it. So we bought some hydraulic oil and we were back to rolling. And, I mean, we weren't even a customer and we got good service. That's kind of what we pride ourselves in is, uh, you know, Grandpa had that mentality. Then, of course, taught his three sons. And then that's Mm -hmm. how I was born and raised in the business is, you know, you take care of a customer, you're fair to a customer, they'll come back. Yeah. Uh, You know, you don't have to try to make make a, a million dollars off of them the first mm-hmm. experience uh you know make 50 cents and go on your way and hopefully they come back and you make 50 cents some other day so i love that and you say this is family absolutely deal. been around a while you know yep. we're all about the family here at bull sessions family farmers family cattle people goat people we don't care a horse and equipment that's yep, absolutely that makes the difference i think well we're third generation uh i came back i've always you know, figured I'd be back in the dealership, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, so that was always my lifelong dream, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm back there, so I took over as third generation. My little sister's there now as well. Really? So, yep, uh, the the good and the bad with working with family, (laughs) but, uh, you know, that's that's awesome that we're all still there. Uh, And even our employees, you know, uh, Bob Moorhead's worked for us for nearly 40 years now. So, really? Yeah. So you're not even that old yet, are you? No, Bob, <laughs> Bob started before I was around. So he started before I did, I guess. So. Wow. <laughs> yep. So that I is... started 33 years ago. As soon as I could, uh, you know, start selling tractors. And sure. I, you know, that's uh, even my son, too. He's two and he loves to go to the farm show because oh, yeah. he's out there talking to, to farmers and trying to get them into the booth, you know. So the upcoming generation to take it over. Hopefully. Hopefully. Won't that be good? Um, is that primarily what you sell as a Bobcat? Uh, primarily, it's Massey Ferguson. Yeah, so, uh, tractors. Yeah, my grandfather bought the Ferguson dealership in 1953. Really? Uh, a couple years later, Massey Harris and Ferguson merged, and mm-hmm. so uh, we got involved with the Massey Ferguson side. Mm-hmm. Um, that's been our core product for a number of years. Uh, I came back home to the dealership. We took on some multiple brands. Um, you know, we were talking about just a second ago is the building. Uh, we put on a, a new building that had all new uh, showroom, all new conference uh, rooms, so we could actually have guys in, you know, go over planners or go over monitors or, mm-hmm. you know, just even combine settings or whatever. It's, uh, it's such an advanced world anymore. You got oh, yeah. you got to have that room just to show those people. So, but oh, yeah, Massey yeah. Massey is primarily our main brand, um, along with the Agco lines. We've got sunflower tillage equipment. Uh, we sell a lot of sunflower tillage equipment. They- they have a lot of ver- the vertical tillage tools. Yep. Sunflower is really, um, you know, one of the first ones to go after that market mm-hmm. is, you know, Sunflower has been a leader and will continue to be a leader in the tillage industry. Um, you know, they've got a high speed pass tool out now. Uh, you know, they continue to, to be right with the with the everything else that's happening in tillage. Um, you know, Heston Hay, we've got Heston Hay. Mm-hmm. so. Uh, white planters all the way across the Agco line. So that's that's been nice for us is the Agco additions, uh, you know, has given us that full product line up that way. So on combines of the Agco line, what combine do you carry? We carry the Massey Ferguson combine. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, Agco also has the Gleaner combine. We service some of the Gleaner combines. Um, that's always kind of been a discussion is what, you know, if, if you know, if we want to investigate and look into the Gleaner line, um, but we've kind of stuck to our guns with the Massey Combine. Um, we're very, very simple combine. Uh, and that's, I, I really started pushing that last year. Um, you know, hearing all the, all the things that guys are spending in off-season maintenance on combines, you know, if we can, if we can crazy, simplify, isn't it? I mean, take half the belts and half the bearings on a combine, and, and that's half the maintenance. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's our goal. Is, it makes I mean, sense. Yeah. 
So we're, we got a very simple combine uh, where even I can understand it. So, you know, that helps, right? That mm-hmm. that guys helps. like salesmen can even understand it. So the farmer can run it that I way. I don't so. know. Salesmen, you got to <laughs> worry about that. Right? Now, be careful, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm careful. I'm very very careful. I got he, Miles to protect me. He, he understands the trouble with salesmen, don't you? Oh, I have yes. <laughs> How do you say Tony? How do you say that uh-huh. again? <clears throat> That's a grammar but, issue. Is it? I remember the first time you came in and you was trying to say uh, glyphosate. Do you remember that? <laughs> but we're supposed to be talking about MERS farm equipment, we not are. my grandma going to. And here's what else. We're going to have to take a little short break, though, so we can come back and talk really? more with Mitch. Randy, you yes. still got time. I know. You, you're trying to cut him off way too soon. No. My screen says 1033, and we've got 11, 10, 1140. Oh, maybe I was a little bit hurried there. <laughs> See, I'm sorry, Mitch. I, if we will get Randy out of here before the next segment starts and get somebody good in here. <laughs> I was jumping the gun somewhat. Very, very professional radio show you've become to be a part of. See, what I'm trying to do is to get teach you how to keep caught up with me. I'm Randy, moving. you got someplace you're supposed to be soon or something? I, no, I, I'm trying to get you out of here, Miles. Yeah. You've got a plane to catch. You said the Alzheimer's ward is missing somebody, <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to blow it. And Miles is going to have a commercial come in over you talking because no, you're not no. getting us out of here on time. We're just regrouping. I, I okay, because uh, you, you've got like 15 seconds. Oh, I'm in good shape. We got plenty of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> we have to take a short break. When we come back, more with Mitch. Like I was saying earlier, Lady and Ag. <laughs> Focus on the farmer, Miles and Bradley too. <laughs> Stay with us here on 680 KFEQ.